Tay means to kick or squash with the foot. Quan implies the hand or fist to punch, block, strike, or destroy. Do means on our or way. I was around seven years old. I always wanted to do it, and mom could never get me signed up until about then. I started training when I was 17 years old, so about three and a half years. I started in July of two, uh, 1984. Uh, so this July in a couple months would make it my 30, 30 second year. At first, I kind of was forced to teach, meaning when uh, Ole Miss team leader was leaving and he recommended me as a, as a teacher to carry on the legacy for Ole Miss Taekwondo team. And um, at the time, it's not like I asked or I or I uh, told him I wanted to do it. He asked me to do it, so I kind of had to take that responsibility and continue. But I'm glad that I did that because he taught me a lot, not just about myself, but how to communicate with others, how to teach other people. He let me be a little more creative as far as that, to be a martial artist. If I just only trained, then it would have all about it would have been all about me and not focus on others. But uh, teaching has uh, definitely widened my horizon. Uh, how to, you know, explain and, and understand martial arts in a totally different angle. Well, when I first started, I kind of thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna learn how to you know, kick people's butts and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I just thought I was gonna be really awesome. Uh, everybody would think, oh wow, Kirkland's cool, you know, he can do all this martial arts stuff. I've learned, you know, it's not all about just kicking and punching and stuff. Uh, it's more about teaching you respect and self-discipline for everyone. I really like teaching the kids. Like, uh, it's pretty fun, you know, they come in here. Sometimes, I mean, they all hardly know what they're doing and it's just fun watching, like, the younger kids. Uh, like, we have a Little Tigers class. It's usually about our three and a half year olds to six year olds and they're the funniest thing in the entire world and I, I love all the students with all my heart. I love it being able to see um, what I what the impact of one person can have on the kids lives just little things that you do and then you see them mimic it it really it's actually kind of scary because you can see how much they look up to you. Hello! The reality of the internal martial art is is a habit. We're trying to create habit for ourselves, meaning everyone has habit. The the difference is whether you have more of the good habits or more of the bad habits. So as we get older, as we get a little more smarter, or at least we think we are getting, well, we, we think we know much more than we do, we be start to become uh, arrogant and not look for ways to change. Because after a certain age, you're comfortable. You are who, who, you, are who you are, who you think you are. Therefore, everybody's kind of closed their doors and not willing to make a uh, step up and make a changes. It's a way to learn respect for others. It's a way to learn self-discipline along with discipline. Um, it helps you develop life skills that translate into um, working a job, into dealing with people, into just everyday life. Um, it's worth its weight in gold. Over the years, you know, kind of when I first started and stuff, it, you know, I was like, oh, okay, he's he's pretty cool, but over the years he's kind of grown as like a second father or second brother to me. Uh, he, I really consider him one of my, like part of my family. Master Ra is really a father to me. Um, it's been awesome working for him. It's been awesome hanging around with him. It's been awesome just going on trips and learning from him. Um, I've had so much fun working for him. And it's been it's been an experience I wouldn't trade for anything.
My assistant instructors, uh, number one, regardless of their rank, age, or ability, uh, as a person, uh, it, it is somebody I do respect and I love, and I think that is the number one quality that they must have, and uh, we're just like brothers.